Hello, love. Chef D. Love from Chef D. Love's World. Please stay tuned. Hello, love. Chef D. Love from Chef D. Love's World. Today, we're going to be doing the apple cassata. Yes, apples. Anything that has apples in it is the best. It is one of my top, top, top faves. So today, I'm going to show you, and it's going to be the easiest recipe that I've ever shown you. And I am going to have a guest. So please stay tuned. Hello, love. So I brought on my niece, Chef Jayla. Y'all stay tuned for her because she is definitely going to be something big out here. Y'all mark my word. But she's going to help me make some different types of uh, sizes of the apples. But first things first, we're going to just tell you some of the things we're going to need. You're going to need pie crust. And so that this is the easiest thing that you can make this recipe in is I went and bought pie crust. From the local store in the deli section, okay? And so, you're going to need that. You're going to have some flour, some butter, egg wash, which is an egg, you know, whipped or whisk. We're going to have sugar, lemon. I had added some a pinch of nutmeg and this, all, um, this apple pie spice, just to give it a little extra something, you know? And cinnamon and vanilla. So... Don't forget your Granny Smith apples to give it that tartness. You can use Gala apples, but I think the Granny Smiths give it a little extra something. So what we're going to do is mix these apples to go into our pie crust. So I'm going to mix that nutmeg I told you about. A little bit, a fourth of a teaspoon, well, tablespoon, sorry, of cinnamon. We're going to squeeze this lemon in there to give it that, you know, not too sweet. Make sure you don't get no seeds in there. Um, add your flour, your sugar. That was a half a cup. And then you're just going to go ahead and mix this in just like this. Get in there and get a little dirty, you know. Then we're going to add our vanilla in to give it a little bit more flavor. Smells good, right? Mm, smells good. Yes! Yeah, see, see, she already knows. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla to give it that extra little flavor. And then just keep mixing this until it's well incorporated. And we'll be back to stuff our apple crust. Okay, we've mixed the apples and this is what we've come out with, with the cinnamon and sugar in there. So we're gonna go ahead and fill our crust. Jayla's going to show you the smaller one and I'm gonna do the big one. She's gonna do little mini, just in case you have like a party or something like that, you can make the mini ones, okay? So we're just gonna fill them and show you the different ways of, you know, making them look pretty inside these apples. Because, you know, the reason we cut them so thin is so that, you know, they'll cook evenly. Because most of the time, apples still be hard afterwards because it, had, it didn't have enough um, heat or steam inside of it because the apples are so thick. So, you can use any type of apples. I just use, like I said, I use the Granny Smiths because it still has that tartness. And they still have like a little crunch. Where the Gala apples or the Sweet Red apples are, you know, they get a little softer faster. And if you're going to cut them thicker, I would say cook them a little. But we're just going to fill these and then show you how to make... The little design. Jayla's doing hers now. The little small one. I'm gonna keep feeling the big one. So what you're gonna do is take it and you're gonna bring it in, fold it, fold it, Fold it, pull it up, push it over. 
Pull it up. Push it over. Pull it over. Push it up. Same thing all the way around. It's like kind of like a cute little pleat. And there you have it. A cute apple cassada. You see her little mini one? Oh, the kitty. I'm just like, but no. And once you do that, you're going to take some butter. So it has that good salty taste. And the butter can help cook. The apples, we're going to take that and we're just going to put it in there so that the butter can get inside the apples and the dough, the crust. You just kind of bury And being that hers are smaller, it doesn't take a lot of butter like the big one would. And I'm going to put one or two on top. And like she, how she's breaking up her butter because she's doing a smaller one. And once you get it to do that, we're going to take a brush, my pastry brush, and we're going to take some egg wash that I told you to make. And we're going to brush the apple cassada on the outside so that when it bakes, it gives it that golden, um, flaky looking look. You just brush it. Not too much because you don't want no scrambled eggs in between your pastry, your crust. And we're just going to do this. And um, once we do that, I took that some extra sugar and cinnamon. And I mixed it together. And being that we have that egg wash on top, the sugar will stay. So you're just going to sprinkle it to give it a little extra <laughs> something y'all know I love a little extra something on every dessert so here you have a big cassata and a mini cassata and me and Jayla are going to take this and we're going to I buttered a flat pan and we're going to just stick these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're golden brown and you will see like they're, you know, starting to bubble up. And then we'll be back to show you that. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we've taken it out of the oven and we're just going to basically decorate it. You know, add a little ice cream with a little bit of caramel sauce and some powdered sugar. So I'm just going to show you how we do that. going to place it on top and give it you know the alamo hit it with a little bit of caramel sauce i know it looks good right and then a little bit of this powdered sugar And yes, 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 there you have it. The apple cassada, and I made it into an Alamo. Enjoy. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. 